everyone, welcome back and today we'll be showing how you export your Minecraft worlds into Maya. I suppose at this point you have Maya, I have the 2011 version, 46 bit version. Um, first we need to download some things. Um, you will need MC2OBG. I will put the download links into the description. You can click here on downloads and the first thing you save it on your computer the same with MC edit you can uh, go to MC edit downloads and then you can download it I downloaded the first one for Windows and you need your Minecraft world I will be using one from YouTube uh, I could download this one I wanted a beautiful one I don't have a uh, town built myself only on servers but um, I downloaded this one, I will put the video link into the description also. I all put it in one map. You will also need a file to make a file. I will upload it on internet and I will put it in the description if you don't want to make it yourself, but I will show also how to make it yourself. So first you open the MC to OBG, it's a zip file, and you need everything into the map. Um, then you don't need the zip file anymore. Um, so first you open MC edit and then you open a level. Um, we have saved it in a file over here at uh, level dot that and um, you uh, choose uh, somewhere doesn't matter what it is. It's a beautiful town, we're going to select a piece of it. Um, I would suggest you start a bit underground of the world, like over here or something, but not too far because it will all be loaded into your Maya and it takes space and memory and it takes longer to render and blah blah blah. So you uh, press copy, it will take a while, save save the schematic also into your uh, file so you save it right the schematic is f saved now you close MC edit or you just go to menu but I don't know how to do that um, reopen it and we're going to create new world but we don't need chunks so zero chunks uh, doesn't matter, this may be 0 too, so make it creative, create. You save it onto your desktop. Um, I'm going to call it Kingdom. Kingdom. Oh, god damn it. Oh shit, I already have something that's named like that, just delete it. Yes. Right, save. Come on, save. Yes, right. So, uh, cancel. We don't want to create chunks. We are in our spawn point. Import. Go to the map. We just save the um, schematic in. Load the schematic. Then click import. And then we press Ctrl and S at the same time. It will save the whole world. And now we need to load it in Maya. So that's finished. And then um, you open up Maya. Oh, in the file export, you should have text, the name, what you called the folder, and then underscore E with OBG and this file. I don't know if it's from any use, the minecraft.mtl. I guess so. Now you can go to import and you go to your directory where you saved it. Maya. And then you go to... It was over here. No, 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 no. Wrong. It was export. And you click on kingdom.obg. Now this will be loaded. I won't have any textures so uh, we can select it uh, it's not possible to move it, oh yes it's possible to move it I'm going to move it a bit to the grid, doesn't matter but 
so you can click over here this little blue box smooth shade all if there are chunks that uh, smooth shade can't load then Maya will crash um, then you need to delete the chunks now this is weird this needs to be wool lapis it uh, is not right so we also click textured nothing will change but when we go to um, window this needs to be on polygon no I don't think it needs to be on polygons no just window rendering editors hypershade hypershade will open up this window and every block you use will be with um, a ball in this window these are too much to do this in this video um, but like bookshelf is the first one they are uh, alphabetic sorted so that's very handy you double click on it you will open up this window ambient color you drag it to zero click on this little square and will pop up this window you can choose from different things for this minecraft we're going to choose file and put filter type to off and now we're going to our where we saved it yes it's over here and then export that will be a text a text folder and everything here is also alphabetic so we're going to the B bookshelf bookshelf will now be loaded um, and so you can go on cake and stuff I'm going to search for something a mushroom or something you can do dirt um, like redstone torch let's take redstone torch you take ambient color file quadratic off you go to the R and then redstone torch it was on on or off I don't know it anymore doesn't really matters it was on yes now you will see this is weird what you need to do is you're going to um, graph network when you right click you can oh, keep your right mouse hold your right mouse button you go to graph network it will open up this you can see what Maya is doing with the texture when you use your middle mouse button to drag it to the next picture and then you choose transparency and it should look like this but I don't think we're going to find a redstone torch in this village but we have tall grass and red flowers so if we take a flower I will search a red flower found a red flower so you put ambient color to drag it to zero choose file off and then you go to um, flower 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 red not alpha that's weird go to red then it will be like this and if you go into your minecraft you will see that this is not what we were looking for so what are we going to do we're going back to hypershade we're going to graph network drag it over here transparency over here it will look weird but into minecraft it will look uh, already a bit better but it will still look a bit yeah with uh, black shades around it not good so what we need to do is we go to flower red you go down and you found ha find hardware texturing when you click on it this will appear and here is use global settings uh, use it to nearest unfiltered when you close it down look your flower will be perfect now you can make a video or something with this world well if you did all the blocks um, what I just did for the flower do it for tall grass mushrooms yellow flower um, doors everything that looks weird uh, when you load it up torches everything except for blocks like glowstone and um, signs will look weird but don't do it with them um, I figured it out it's not needed 
water, if I can find water, no that's ice uh, yeah, over here, no that's blue, wool. oh water when you're going to do that it will look also weird um, go up, ambient color to zero file off we search for water oh, water then it will look weird but now we're not going to do what I just did with the flower we're just going to close it down reopen it and over here you're going to put transparency a bit on so the water looks transparent but I don't know did I I choose something wrong I I don't know water yes this is water so now I don't know where is water uh, where is water in this kingdom over here we found water now the water looks great but if we don't put transparency onto the water transparency off then we'll have this water where you can't look through not good so yeah you need to do that transparency on for halfway or something, do this for ice don't do it for lava, lava you can't look through it will look good so this will be the result in Maya um, as you can see it's a bit laggy because it's a big big world but uh, when you texture everything leaves are need also transparency in my opinion some uh, guys don't do it but then in my opinion it doesn't look that good um yeah this is a scene I didn't use yet but it's ready to use um some bads bads I needed to replace in Minecraft itself it wasn't good in the save file but I discovered it after you, know, you learned something about it you now can load your worlds of Minecraft any questions some things that don't work out uh comment section is below